The Center has been very active on climate change and energy independence over the past year and a half, two years. Uh, but these issues are really heating up right now. The consensus on the reality of global warming has really hit home. And with the change in Congress, we're now seeing uh, the potential for real movement on climate change legislation, on serious and meaningful energy legislation. Um, so our whole energy team is gearing up to really take on this issue, uh, looking at everything from the positive potential of investment in renewable energy and what it can do for jobs and for our economy, all the way through to overseas investments uh, in economic development and energy poverty and how clean energy solutions and carbon trading can be used to lift up some of the poorest countries uh, on the planet. Um, so basically we see climate change and the crisis going on in energy right now as a tremendous opportunity to address deep economic uh, inequality issues um, and, and real imbalances in, in sort of the, the overall macroeconomy, using energy as a driver for, for progressive change. So concretely, what does that mean? Um, I'm writing a book right now with Congressman Jay Inslee from Washington State um, called Apollo's Fire is our working title, and it's about exactly what I just described, the sort of the positive potential for new investment to create industries, create jobs, rebuild America, and rebuild the fabric of our economy as we address climate change and our oil dependence. Um, I'm also doing work on a, a whole concept called global warming preparedness, which says global warming's here. We've got to adapt. We've got to treat it as if it's a reality and look at what that means for infrastructure investments, for understanding the local impacts, whether it's greater pests attacking the forests in the Northwest and leading to forest fires, droughts in the Midwest, coastal erosion. There are huge, serious, real-world impacts that communities all across the country and across the world are going to encounter as a result of global ch climate change. So we're trying to bring the issue into the, into the present tense and uh, help people really take it on as a policy issue, as a political issue. Um, it's not about trading off uh, economic costs uh, in return for some sort of environmental benefit. It's about protecting our stake in the future and our, our stake in the present. Uh, the more frequent and severe hurricanes that we're seeing are just the tip of the iceberg of what climate change could mean. Um, so we're you know, working on the book, working on uh, moving concrete legislation, whether it's around global warming preparedness or helping people on, on Capitol Hill understand um, and sort of grapple with some of the positive ways that they can invest in new clean energy technologies. Uh, we're, we're really engaged on a, on a whole host of fronts to really try and move this issue um, and turn what could be a, a devastating situation into something positive.